Thank you. Nice to see you again. Good to see you again. Now, the last time you were here, yeah. you helped us do one of our favorite things, which was get rescue dogs uh, forever homes. Yeah. Uh, in Rescue Dog Rescue. Yes, I did. And it's such an excellent cause. I was so happy to be a part of it and honored. Yeah. Thanks. Do you have a dog? I don't have a dog. I think you might be able to tell. I got some, like, I got some poor reviews of my ability to hold a dog, apparently. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> some look, people found this, that your handling was, not was a little natural. uncertain. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that I don't like dogs. It's that I don't know how to hold them. Yeah. I, look. No, I this, look at, this one looks a little. This guy looks a little I'm, worried. See, I don't. It doesn't make sense. Puppies are so sweet. I should be able to hold a puppy. I don't understand how to touch them in a way that isn't upsetting to them. And I, I find like I was like cradling them. I, it's the sweetest yes. segment in the world. Sure. You handled them like a pro. You are a pro, and I didn't. So I'm sorry about that. I, I like puppies. I'm apology, going on the record. Apology accepted okay. on behalf of the puppies. I thank thought you, you did a wonderful job. Well, thank you. The audience, are, they're cruel. They're no. cruel. They're relentless. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking of animals, yeah. speaking of animals, I need to know about this. Oh, uh, yes. You have a new book called My Squirrel Days. My Squirrel Days. Yes, I wrote okay. a book. It's a collection of personal essays. So these are stories about your life? Stories about my life, about growing up in St. Louis and trying to make it. Yes, St. Louis. And yeah. So, yep. It's a great city. And why Squirrel Days? What's squirrel that? Days. It refers to a story in the book, uh, which is my ultimately unsuccessful attempt to befriend a squirrel in my backyard. I had human friends, but <laughs> I also sort of. Sure. Yeah. But I had just seen Dances with Wolves. We all remember the Kevin Costner sure. epic. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And I was so blown away by like the ability to live in harmony with animals. Because he had that uh, wolf. That he danced with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because you only see the wolf a couple of times you in the only, movie. Yes. He doesn't actually hang out with the wolf. Not that Okay, much, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but no, sure. He, correct. But, but he does left, dance with the wolf. He dances with it. And I thought, well, that's something. I think that's admirable. That's enviable, actually. Sure. So I, I attempted to make friends with a squirrel in my backyard. A plump squirrel I named Natalie. Uh, Natalie. Are did, you sure that it was a female squirrel? See, no. No. <laughs> or that it was even the same squirrel. It may have been, like, several squirrels. I don't know. But, uh. You I, didn't want to be Kevin Costner. You wanted to be a Disney princess. Correct. Right. That the squirrels talk to. That's exactly birds right. Birds would dress me when I yes. went to the ball. Okay. I, exactly. I think I was a little. I was just like two degrees off. And uh, yeah, I would bring the squirrel snacks and treats. And and one day I was climbing a tree, as one does. Sure. I, yeah. To be near your friends. Correct. And I fell off the tree, and the literally Natalie was laughing at me. I mean. <laughs> I don't speak squirrel, but mm -hmm. I understand like when I'm being laughed at. Mm -hmm. So. Now you were a smarty pants. You went to Princeton. I did. And I, you've got a huge honor coming up. Yes, I like you. am going to speak at their class day. That's the graduation of um, in 2019. I'm going to be the speaker, which I think you did a few years ago. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. yeah. Do you have a lot of pressure? Especially for alumna to come back, a lot of pressure. Do you do you know what you want to say? To um, the kids? I don't. Uh, I I have some time to plan. Um, mm -hmm. I want to you know I want to be serious. I want to impart some real wisdom. I hope that I've mm -hmm. um, gathered over the years. But yeah, I I um, I don't know. What did you talk about when you? I gave I said you uh, you you're all gifted. You're all hardworking. You're the you know everyone in this audience has the power to change the world. And I said, please don't do that. Because <laughs> yes. it's working out pretty good for guys like me yes. right now. And uh, they, didn't, they, didn't, they, didn't, uh, they didn't listen. They didn't, see? They didn't listen. They went I, I got one of those thing. beer jackets. You know, tell me about the beer jackets on, on, on graduation. It's black and, and orange. orange. Yeah, Princeton's colors are black and orange. And um, yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Halloween. Yeah, like a bruise. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you say like a bruise? Like a bruise. Yes, just like a bruise. The, the old Princeton bruise. Mm -hmm. And every class gets a beer jacket. It's called a beer jacket. I get. I just. I don't know why it's called a beer jacket. You there drink. Are big pockets on the inside to hide, hide beer your in beer at graduation. All right. That's I'm like, what I was told. Yeah, I guess so. I'm. I'm anti beer these days. I just am. People drink. <laughs> yeah. No. I. But it's, I am. Enough. Like, keep it. Yeah. Our, we have beer sponsors, don't we? we have beer, oh, God, yeah, I love drink beer. beer. Yes, drink lots of beer. Oh, you'll cut it out. Maybe you'll cut it out. <laughs> yeah. What's the most, what's, what, what do you wish you were told when you were that age? I guess I wish I had been told to know maybe when to stop pursuing something. I feel like that's a valuable lesson. Like, if you are trying to go after something and it's not working out, that it's okay to change paths. Oh, when to give up your dreams. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs>
right. like, like I did I, yeah, right. with I, the squirrel. Actually, I, I, w I was able, my alma mater is Northwestern, yeah. and I was able to give that class day speech. Oh. And, uh, and I said, um, uh, don't be afraid to not follow your dream. Because Did you if, say that? If, if your dreams never change, the world will be full of cowboys and princesses. That's exactly right. Right. Oh, that's and, if, and, if you, and if you and if you if you don't get your dream, you're not a loser. And but more importantly, if you do get your dream, you're not a winner. Right. There are no winners and losers. No, that's exactly right. Yeah. D um, Mr. Rogers said. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. What is Mr. Rogers' name? The, the... Fred. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Gave us, I don't know where, I just saw the documentary and he gave some, there was some line about you don't have to be sensational to make like your parents happy or something where it was just about doing good work rather than something sensational. Are you going to tell that to your son? Uh, son? son, yeah, my How son old is he? James, he just turned two. No, he's got to be sensational. Yeah. <laughs> Well, how's the two being? Two is, two is tough. Two is tough. You have children. You understand that? He's very Three. willful. Yeah. It's, you know, two is when they start to decide that things should be their way, not your way. Correct. And yeah. he's How's wrong. the struggle going? Uh, the struggle's okay. I, you uh, are Catholic. I'm also Catholic. I'm I, a Catholic, I, yeah. Yep. I take James to church. I try to. Mm -hmm. And I, it's a hard thing for a two-year-old to um, go through, I think. I, did you take your kids to church when they were young? I was a Sunday school teacher, yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. I knew you were a Sunday school teacher. I didn't know that. Did you bring them when they were like babies? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, see, I, my dad would stay home with the kids and my mom would bring the older kids to church for us. Yep. And I'm learning now, like it's hard for a two year old to sit still and he'll be, you know, go, going, I, I start to walk with him like around the yeah. aisles. So he sit. struggles and like doesn't want to sit down. Right. And, yeah, he well, probably, has the, probably has the devil in him. <laughs> Because if he doesn't like to be in church, what other explanation is there? Uh, right. Not wanting to be in the presence of the Lord, but other than you got you got the devil. I got in you. the devil, child. Because my children never did that. <laughs> my children never did that. All no. right. They That's were like, my Peace be with you. Yeah. <laughs> Peace be with you. I understand that you've also. Oh, can I just? Oh, I know I've gone past Princeton. I got to go back. Yeah, I think you I just go saw back. this photo. Somebody did a, a, a then and now kind of photos yeah. of like uh, people at, at, at Princeton and then people now. This is a photo of you. What year is this? I, that's, I was 22. That was, I was that a was senior. That was your senior senior? I know. Isn't that crazy? This is you as a senior I, yeah. at Princeton. What happened? <laughs> what? Oh, my that, God. That is my best friend, Josephine Sittenfeld, who took that photo. She's a photographer. She was doing a series. She just completed a series of Then and Now. So I was 22. That was in winter. Um, I, that, why was she, I'm mad in that. She's taking my picture. Like, look how I look. Is that, I, is that, are you pulling a face there? Or I, are I, you? I'm legitimately mad because she, she was always taking my photo when I was like sleeping and I always had my retainer in and I, that's my dad. I, I thought it was cool to wear my you dad's You mean there's a job. photo of you? Like this with a retainer on? Yes! And we what's don't have that one? No, no. I got, I'll ask Joe for that. Please. Do you know what's weirder? I had a boyfriend. I, I did. You're absolutely adorable. I, no, you're absolutely adorable I'm, I, in this I'm, photo. I'm, but you look like you're eight. A pie tree. She, she called it the Peter Pan photo, which I sort of understand. I'm sort of androgynous. I'm like neither here nor there. I'm eight. I have a lot of my hair. What is my hair? That's what I don't know. Did I go to, did I, 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 I woke know. up you like that. You do look like one of the Lost Boys. I did, yes. Yeah. <laughs> one of the Lost Boys. Well, My Squirrel Days is on sale Tuesday. Ellie Kemper, everybody. We'll be back with Sam Elliott.